everyone welcome back to another video this video is the first post vlogmas video can you believe i'm filming last year i didn't film again until like june and it's the 26th of december it's boxing day and yeah because i really enjoyed doing vlogmas i figured i'd just keep filming on and off so yeah i'll just put footage together this could be a video from one day or it could be from a week who really knows but by the amount that i talk probably just today so Boxing day. We stayed the night at Trav's parents last night for Christmas and that was lovely. We got home a little while ago and we've just been chilling since then. Um, there's a few things we wanted. Uh, yes, I put it in my jewelry box because Squiggles was smelling it. Little Math was smelling his wedding ring and she likes to try and eat mine. So I don't think she'd eat his because it doesn't have a little sparkly diamond on it, but you never know, so I moved it. Um, <clears throat> so we've got to put this down at some stage. When do people put their trees down? I really don't want to put it down yet. Maybe we'll leave it up tonight, tomorrow night. Maybe we'll break, put it down on Sunday. Um, so one thing we do want to do is we have um, the Weber Q2000, this one here. Um, and we've never had a stand for it so you would have seen in videos we just put it on this table here so we got a um stand for christmas so we need to set this up and then we also got a barbecue cover so we can finally keep it outside we got some bar stools so we can finally have bar stools under here so we're going to need to move the cat food i think over there but the tray is just like ever so slightly too big for the space if you know what i mean like it kind of sits on the carpet a wee little bit but I don't really think it's much of an issue. I, on the other hand, I really want to make some more bread. So, I don't know, <coughs> I still haven't even edited the video I did with Tarina. That video will definitely be up before this one, so hopefully you saw that. Tarina taught me how to make bread rolls. I have the recipe, so I'm thinking I'll make the exact same ones again because we still have all the ingredients and it was just so yum. And we have so much Christmas ham left over, so I figured for dinner tonight we can have homemade bread rolls with Christmas ham and you can't really see it but we've also got heaps of salads and stuff we have um wedding cake so this was our white chocolate raspberry wedding cake we've defrosted it and that is chocolate caramel so good from our wedding day and that needs to be eaten see so yeah, it do you want do you want to do the barbecue now we're going to do the barbecue now or no i'm going to get the bread rolls ready and put them in the hot water cupboard yeah and then we can do that but see when we made it when i made it with Trina, she kind of did the mixy mixy bit so this is gonna be my first time solo and i hope i don't f it up because <laughs> it takes like a couple of hours like there's not much you actually have to do but there's a lot of waiting and if it doesn't work i'd be really sad because they were really young so anyway four minutes in I'm gonna make some bread. Right, so this was our um, ingredient list for anyone interested. So we've got the, oh, come on, the egg, the yeast, the flour, the sugar, the salt, the butter, and the milk. And then we need some water, and that's it. So this is, oh, this is the recipe that we used. Oh, I don't quite, wait, I don't really know how I don't know how Pinterest works, so I need to find the actual, like, instructions. I'm feeling very happy and optimistic at the moment. I have just let my bread uh, dough rest for an hour, and it has definitely grown in size, and it came straight out of the bowl, so now I just need to cut it in half, roll it out, and put it into the little thingies, and let it rest for another hour, and hopefully they should grow again, and then... I can put them in the oven so so far they're going well fingers crossed it keeps working out because i really want a fresh roll with ham for dinner tonight otherwise i'm gonna be really sad right so i've actually decided to make two different sizes. so i've got this size here which is a lot bigger and then these smaller ones so i've done the same over here where these ones will be bigger and these ones will be smaller one thing i want to show you which was quite interesting i don't really want to waste it let's just do a little bit here so when i cut it it kind of, well that didn't do it as much, but it just like popped apart. Like I didn't spread those apart. When I cut it, they just popped apart. So I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but 
Oh well. Right, so these now need to rise just like that for another hour or so. We've shut all the windows so it stays nice and warm in here. It's very hot in here. So while we let that just chill for a bit, we're going to go set up the barbecue stand. If I can get Trav off the floor. What you doing? I was sleeping in squiggles, but then she ran away. Yeah, I can see her outside. Um, when you lie with the cat and they run away and you just stay on the ground. <laughs> oh, it's really bright, but... We're gonna put this together now while the bread is doing its thing. We did it! Hopefully. <laughs> Almost. The camera stopped recording, which is probably a good thing. <laughs> Yay! Does it clip or does it just sit? It should just sit. Oh, it looks so beautiful. I also love that we have the black one. So nice. One thing, if you saw, I don't know if I would have included the footage or not, but we actually had five caterpillars on here yesterday. And I don't know if you guys can see, I cannot see a single caterpillar. I feel like something must have eaten them. Which is so sad because they were so cute. Like, I don't see... A single caterpillar like that there. I don't know if you guys can see, that's an egg for a caterpillar. But the actual caterpillars themselves are all gone. I don't see a single caterpillar. So sad. We did it! We can finally leave this outside and use this as a table to eat at. You excited? Yeah. 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 Right. Let's go check on my bread. My bread rolls all the way over there. Hi Squiggles. Gotta keep it warm in here and oh my goodness, it is so warm in here. Oh wow, they've already gotten so much bigger. Ooh, I think they've still gotta like just sit there for another 40 minutes or so, but they look good. Did you secure the cylinder? I did secure the cylinder, I wrapped it up with its little car seat. The strap thingy? Yep. And you tightened it? I did. Let's see, how warm is it inside? Oh my gosh, it's 27 degrees. It feels warmer than that. Also, the roof earlier said 47, so it's been a bit of a hot one today, um, which is lovely. We are also going to Papamoa next week, um, and it's supposed to be sunny the whole time, so I'm so excited about that. We actually started off the year in Papamoa, and we're going to start off 2020 in Papamoa, which is so cool. Like. Ah, we're actually going to finish the year in the same place we started it. That's really cool. Um, I didn't film anything last time, I don't think, because I wasn't filming. But it's so nice, so I'll definitely have to get some footage of Papamoa this time when we go around. Um, last year for my birthday, Trav got me a puzzle, because I love puzzles. And this year, he got me another one. It has to be Christmas, of course. Um, and if you don't know what these puzzles are like, it shows you that, but actually... The puzzle that you make is kind of what they're looking at, so the opposite side. So it's really hard, but it's quite fun. And we did it down in Papamo last time, so I um, haven't opened it because I'm going to take it down to Papamo again. Also, not sure if I showed or not, but bench slash bar stools are finally in. Yay! We can finally sit there. It's all coming together slowly, slowly but surely. Oh, we're going to have to get rid of all the Christmassy stuff too. I just got them out of the oven. They're golden brown. I've just brushed them with some garlic parsley butter. And it smells so good. So I really hope they taste good. I feel like they will because they just look delicious. Right, so I'm going to have myself some dinner now. So I'm going to have one of these beautiful bread rolls. I'm so excited. I've cut up some ham that I also glazed and then these are some of the salads left over from Christmas dinner last night. So it's going to be such a yummy dinner. I'm so excited because everything is homemade and I swear everything just tastes better not only when it's homemade but when it's leftovers because there's just so much more flavor. So very excited. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to tell you. Also, I just want to keep showing you these because I'm so proud of them. And I hope Tarina's proud of me also. Just so you know as well, they're so like soft and fluffy. Ooh, I can't wait to open one. I know I'm showing lots of this bread, but I just put some of this on it. 
margarine, soft butter, whatever you want to call it. And it's just melting straight in. Oh, so good. All right. <clears throat> I made myself a little roll with some ham and some salad in it. It tastes so good. I am so happy that that turned out. It was so worth it. Now when I think of normal bread, I'm just like, bleh, average. So I really want to try and make like a loaf of bread now and just experiment with bread because this whole new world of making my own bread is just amazing. I also want to see if I can find any like low carb bread recipes. Um, not keto, but just low carb because I think that that would be delicious. So I'm going to have me some dinner. We're going to watch a movie or a TV series, not quite sure yet and just relax really so it's a little while later and i just made some of the pandan tea which i think i must have included in a um a video that's already gone up um but i always play with my hair i just realized that because i always see my arm coming up and going oh, for the hair um and when i made it in the other video i made it with hot water because it was the tea but i'm pretty sure you're actually supposed to just have it with hot milk so I've just made it and I've just had a sip of it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's this. It's like the green um, tea, I don't know. Um, and it's so good. So I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it must have been made with milk, not water. I think that was the one that was slightly different. I'm going to have to try and find some barley footage and see if I mentioned it. But it is so delicious. And yeah, it looks like lime color, but it's just so so good so i'm gonna have some of that um the tv program on netflix called you which is about some creepy stalker guy which is quite interesting um season two has just come out so we're gonna watch that trailer's just playing a game i've just made him some tea which i'm gonna take through and then we're gonna yeah get started on season two of you i'm really loving having the tree up i don't want to take it down it just looks it's just so happy the camera's gonna focus um <clears throat> but anyway my camera battery is flashing so that's gonna be it for this video i hope you did enjoy it um i don't know when i'll film again but i think it's just gonna be spontaneous so please give a thumbs up let me know in the comments below if the here we go again with the hair if there's any particular videos or footage you want to see in 2020 from me whether it's vlogs or house stuff i really don't know i think i'm just gonna do what I want when I want but if there's anything in particular please let me know in the comments below and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything and yeah I'll see you soon for another video bye